to find the implicit differentiation of this uh, variable, what you have to realize is that you got to treat a y as a function of x. Cool. So when you find a derivative using chain rule, you got to be careful. Let's give it a try here. x, y, let's put a little x over here to the half, minus 4x minus 2 y square of x equal to 0. So I did is regroup it. So let's find a derivative of this one slowly. Okay, so first thing, we're going to treat this thing as whole thing. So a, a to the half, derivative of that is half, and then this thing, the whole thing is minus half. Okay, we'll put x and y back in there. Okay. And then you're going to find a derivative of x, y to the x derivative. Okay minus 4, this is easy, and then minus 4 times y um, of x and then dy dx. Use a chain rule as if this one is a function of x. Okay, now this chunk is not too bad, so let's, uh, let's copy this one. So x, y to the minus half and then derivative of this one, you take derivative of the first term, which is 1, times the second one, plus leave the first one alone, times derivative of the second one, which is dy dx. Okay, minus 4, minus 4y, dy dx. Okay, so from here, most of the hard work is done. We just need a group, dy dx. Okay, uh, we have a half, let's move everything out, minus half, okay, this one times that one, it's y to the positive half. That's the first term. Okay, plus half x to the positive half, y to the minus half. Okay, so now I'm com combining this one. This is a dy dx. So I have a one group here. I have a minus 4y dy dx. That's over here, and then I have a minus 4 equal to 0. Okay. So Let's combine this whole thing here and move this one onto the other side. So I have a half, x to the half, minus half here. y to the half, minus 4. That's all the terms that does not have any. So this term doesn't have dyx, dy dx. This term doesn't either. And that's equal to, now this is a little bit risky, so I'm doing two things at a time, which normally I don't do. But um, let's give it a try. So dy dx is on this side. Okay. Now this one was supposed to add this one. When you move it over onto the right hand side, you got to change. So it becomes 4y minus half x to the positive half y to the minus half. Okay. So so far so good. Everything is uh, in there. This becomes positive. This one becomes negative. Okay. So all we have to do now is just divide. Okay. So my dy dx is equal to this chunk, which is half. Let's put it in the radical form. It's easier. Y is on top. X is on bottom. Minus 4 It's on the top. Divided by, let's put this one on the 4y minus half. And the radical root here, I have x on the top, y on the bottom. All right. And let's little messy, but uh, it's not hard. You just have to keep track of what you're doing. So have a confident day.